What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering and uh, breaking news update in the world of Get Woke, Go Broke. That's right. If you were ever a woman that worked at Riot Games, you will now be getting a chunk of a $10 million settlement. $10 million bucks. Now, this is going to be an interesting story, of course, as we followed Riot Games, which is owned by... Chinese company Tencent, uh, over the years, there have been a variety of bizarre claims from like farting on people to downright legitimate things. Now, discriminating based on pay is illegal. I'm not sure where Riot, you know, is in Canada or whatever, wherever they're you know, specific headquarters is, what the laws are there, but if it's here in the US or it's here in, or if it's in Canada, I'm certain that is against the law. Now, at no point from what I can tell were they ever convicted of any of this stuff, but they chose to settle paying any woman for the privilege of being a woman and working at Riot Games a chunk of a $10 million prize pool, essentially what this comes down to. Now, I've got probably five videos today. You definitely won't get a notification for this video, so if you're watching it, please Help by leaving a like, a comment, and consider sharing it out on some sort of social media. I've got a Star Wars video coming up later. I've got tons to get you through this Cyber Monday. Riot Settles Lawsuit will pay every female employee since 2014, that's the last five years, with a $10 million fund. Riot Games will have a huge $10 million proposed settlement collectively to every woman who's ever been employed by the company uh, at any time over the past five years. The settlement is one of the largest in California history for any gender discrimination suit. Well, now we know it was in California. The payout, which was first reported by the LA Times, marks a sweet moment of justice for the woman at Riot. Now, at no point, from what I can tell, were there actually anything proven. This is just a settlement, of course, because they've been held hostage by the game's media for the past six months or 12 months. And while there are many anecdotal stories that are disturbing, as far as I know, nothing official has been filed against Riot. The payout, which was first reported, has been... Um, oh, yeah. The women of Riot who have been systemically disadvantaged working at the giant company, according to a 2018 Kotaku investigation. Our report described rampant isms at Riot, manifesting in its hiring and promoting of bro culture, which sometimes encouraged harassment and discrimination, which sometimes encouraged, I'm sorry, the suit filed November 2018, also described how women at the League of Legends publisher were paid less than men in the similar position. Now, this is a curious thing. You've got to prove that, which I'm guessing Riot thought, hey, maybe they have a case here. You know, we're trying in California where maybe somebody makes a statement. Then again, maybe Riot legitimately did this. A copy of the proposed settlement obtained by Kotaku notes that each lawsuit participant will receive some amount of money determined by their tenure, length, and status at the, as an employee. One reason for the large sum is to make up for what plaintiff's lawyers determined was a significant difference in salary between men and women at the company. Now, this is a very broad statement. Again, maybe it's true. I remain skeptical in all things. Just because men make more than women do not mean they're paid differently for the same job. See, modern woke culture would like you to think that in general, if women make less than men, there's something wrong. What they didn't say in the sentence, which by the way is important, it's always when you read these outlets like Kotaku and everybody else, it's not what they're saying, it's what they're not saying. It was not determined that it was the same position or the same work. She said, the author of this, that they were simply paid less. Ryan Saba, the plaintiff's lawyer, said in a statement that, quote, 
This shows that Riot is um, this shows that Riot is serious about changing culture at the company. Riot told Kotaku in an email, "We are pleased that a proposed settlement to fully resolve the class action lawsuit at Riot was filed recently by the plaintiffs' counsel. The settlement is another important step forward and demonstrates our commitment to living up to our values and making Riot an inclusive environment for the industry's best talent." Yeah. This is a woke tax, it would appear. Riot linked to a blog post to further elaborate their perspective. Over the last year, Riot has undertaken several steps to mitigate its culture of bad behavior, including overhauling its recruitment, hiring a promotion process, offering clearer job descriptions, removing problem employees, and bringing in third-party consultants and a diversity director. Talk about a job... It almost feels like if if you're filling that role, if you're the diversity director at a company, uh, talk about a created position that probably just gets to name their salary because you're probably only getting hired by companies like Riot who are going through this. In August, current employees told Kotaku that the company had made real progress fixing its issues. Unfortunately, several said the progress was undercut by Riot's continued employment of senior male employees named in the lawsuit whose sources say have exhibited harmful workplace behavior. Well, they can't possibly be rehabilitated, I'm sure. Said one employee, it's great that Riot has decided to compensate women for the abuse they've suffered here. Abuse, come on. She continued, it's difficult to heal and move on when we are faced with the reality that at that reality at the end of the day, Riot prefers to pay women still here for the trouble of continuing to work with their alleged abuse. See, it's never enough. Ten million dollars and they're still complaining. Ten million doll hairs and they're still complaining. Now, I don't know how many female employees Riot has. But I'm going to predict that this is going to, right before Christmas, end up being a significant chunk of change. Just for being a woman and working at a place willfully. By the way, it is important to point out that, yes, I disavow if these people were doing the same work for less pay. That is illegal. Okay? But, right is an at-will employer. Nobody's forcing anyone to work there. So you could go work somewhere else if you didn't think you were getting paid the right amount for your work. In November 2018, two women who worked at League of Legends developed a riot uh, games. I'm sorry. Two women who worked at League of Legends developed a riot games for violating the California Equal Pay Act. Wow, that's a typo in your first sentence. Come on. The suit was settled in August of this year. And now we know... That as a part of the settlement, Riot will pay Riot will pay out a fund of ten million dollars to the roughly oh it's, here it is one thousand women at the company. Whoa, whoa, that's a huge sum. Now obviously there's going to be some people that you know I want to check my math here before I shoot my mouth off, but it's 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 significant sum right? So a million, yeah. Right, gotcha. A thousand people sharing ten million dollars. That's a huge payout for probably some of the people that have been there for a very long time. A thousand is more women than I expected. The amount of the payouts will be determined by each employee's status and tenure at the company. According to the court documents obtained by the LA Times, the plaintiffs and right themselves have both agreed that the proposed term of the settlement, but it will need to be approved by the court before being finalized. I'm sure it will be. We're pleased. Can you imagine being pleased that you got to pay out 10 million bucks? In a separate report in August of this year, suggests that many employees feel optimistic about the progress Riot has made in the allegations of all this bad behavior. Um, has Riot done everything I would like them to do? No. Has Riot put in a significant investment and shown commitment to wanting to be better? Yes, I do believe that. Boy, imagine being a dude who's underpaid at this job, right? Imagine being one of the guys who who's making ten grand less than the other guys for no reason, and you're just watching everybody at your company get as much as like I don't know. T I don't know what the major sum will be. You know, if you're one of the thousand, uh, let's say, if you're one of the thousand people that have been there the longest, you're probably looking at maybe ten to thirty, forty thousand uh, dollars, and then maybe if you part time, you might get a thousand bucks or something like that. Look, I think that ultimately, if there was 
legal precedent here. Uh, or actually, I mean, if Riot thought they would legitimately lose this, they probably are enti they're probably incentivized to settle. But make no mistake about it, this is always about settling. Neither side was ever going to play this out all the way. The longer this runs, the longer the PR is for Riot Games and the League of Legends. And and to be t quite honest, ten million bucks for a company like Chinese owned Riot Games that's a drop in the bucket. To any one of us, uh, that's a hard number to even even fathom. I mean, imagine just being somebody working there who's worked there for five years and all of a sudden it's like December and they're like, here's 30,000 bucks because reasons. Um, you know, I think that they parlayed this perfectly. Oh, here we go. So they do have some more information here. Riot will compensate a thousand women who worked there between November 24, 2014 and present with the dollar amount varying based on the time of the company. Court documents know that the two class representatives Jessica Negron and Gabriella Downey will each receive 10K after attorney's costs and other fees. So nothing. <laughs> I mean, almost nothing. Look at this. After attorney's costs and other fees, around 6.2 million is expected to go towards the payouts for the other employees. Full employees will get a minimum of 2,500. Temporary contractors will get a minimum of 500. Court filings say that most class members should get at least 5K. That's not very much money. Look at what the lawsuit ate up 38% of your funds. This is what is so true. And I can speak from experience, even with somebody who's very pleased with the outcome of his situation. The only people that win in these situations are the lawyers because the lawyers are walking away. <laughs> the government's getting tacked, going to tax this. Everybody's getting paid, and by the time it gets down to an employee, all right, five thousand bucks. Is that going to change your life? If you're an employee in California working at Riot Games, no, no, nope, because that remember that five k is going to get taxed at, as probably. I'm not a tax expert, but I'm going to guess it's going to be taxed at uh, similar to a lottery winnings tax or a gift tax or something is be like 40% or a bonus tax. So you'll probably get of that five grand, you'll get what three grand clear of taxes. Not that that's not great, but at the end of the day, 10 million sounds like a ton, but by the time it actually trickles down to those that were affected, it's not going to be very much cash. They've promised a clamp down on this bad behavior and in August announced it was settling the suit while it didn't reveal the specifics at the time. The, uh, the woman's legal representative said that a quote, significant number of changes to the corporate culture have been made. And by the way, that 10 million is probably less than what they've spent, you know, with all their corporate changes. I wonder what this diversity sheriff or whatever they're called, what their salary is probably deep into the six figures. And you know, when you look at the replies, it's exactly what you would expect. Riot was valued at $366 million in 2011. It's earned roughly $20 billion ever since being bought by the Chinese. To put that in perspective, Riot is spending less than 0 .001 of their overall revenue to pay back women who were harassed, allegedly, by the way. And, and, and to be clear, if any of these women had strong individual cases, they should pursue them. There's a question that I'm wondering as to why they haven't. Why, if they've been so damaged that they're happy making you know a few hundred bucks instead of pursuing things on their own. But nonetheless, people aren't going to be happy with it, but I guess they've paid their woke tax. Congratulations, Riot, Riot Games. Enjoy the small victory. No one's going to forgive you. Anyone that cared anyway. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.